I'm astronomer John Reed. Eight years ago, I was an accountant at a Fortune 500 company, but I quit my job to study astronomy full time. I've always wanted to have my own observatory so I could directly share the night sky with the world, and we're about to make that dream a reality. This is the fifth video in our observatory restoration series. In the previous four videos, we purchased the Abbey Ridge Observatory, including the 10-foot dome and C-14 telescope. We poured a giant pier here at Stargaze Nova Scotia on which to sit the telescope, and we finished building the structure. Now it's time to lift the dome up onto the building, add the metal pier, and install the telescope. It's gonna be fun. This is Learn to Stargaze. All right, it is time to move the dome. We've got Dave Cahill here, CEO of Wild Stays. Dave is right across the street with his pretty epic lamp ground. Anyway, what we're doing right now, Dave's got all these cables. We're gonna create a net for the observatory. We've got the excavator right here, ready to lift it up all the way to the top of the hill. Let's get started. At first, it didn't look like the dome was going to make it over the roof line. The excavator operator was going to turn around and set the dome back on the driveway. But after some convincing, we were able to position the excavator up on the rocks in such a way that the dome more than cleared the structure, and then we gently set it on top. Down! Gently, gently! Catch your monkey and all that does. You gotta trust my, uh, my construction skills here, Dave. It's only a six mil gap. I know. <laughs> All right, so it's the morning of August 30th, 2024. We just got the dome on last night, but it's not connected. So one of the things we need to do is make sure it's perfectly circular so that the dome will rotate before we do the final bolts to lock it into place. Before we do that, we're gonna actually have to run the wiring, the cabling here. So we have all the cabling and we didn't really disconnect anything except at the key points, like at the motors. So what we're gonna try to do is run all these wires. We're gonna connect the dome controller and the power supply to the wall. We're gonna plug all of these into the aperture power supply and see if we can get this thing to move. But first, we need to actually connect the motor. So let's do that now. We have a rotating dome. Yep. What an insane day. I can't believe we actually got the dome to rotate and function, we got all of this figured out. And a lot of that was thanks to this Apertura power supply, which powered everything and still, after a day of testing, has 99% battery life. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just gonna go up here. We've got a closed dome. We've actually been able to rotate the dome so that the solar panel is facing the sun. So this should be all charged up and good to go for future use. We also did all the caulking all the way around the structure. We had to fill extra holes in each corner and on the sides. And that was because our structure actually got just a tiny bit longer because of the kind of trim we chose. Okay, let's see if we can get this out. Oh, we're through. So one of my least favorite things to do in the whole world is chiseling out doorknobs. Leave a comment to tell me how badly I'm doing this. All right, so a big day here for Stargaze Nova Scotia. We're here in Halifax right now. 
but with the lock on the door at the observatory, we can now bring the telescope out to stargaze Nova Scotia. All right, getting ready to put the pier on, the first thing I wanna do is just put up a safety beam in case we lift it up and push it over too far. All right, so this looks level. So basically it looks like we can just put these nuts and bolts on and tighten them right in for now. It's a monumental day. I, it's amazing that we got this far in the amount of time that we actually scheduled ourselves to do this in. And just a reminder that this project is primarily funded through the sale of our stargazing guidebooks, mainly 110 things to see with a telescope, a kid's guide to the night sky, and of course, 50 things to see with a telescope for kids. I'll post some links in the description. If you're a fan of Learn to Stargaze, consider becoming a member of this channel by hitting the join button below. This is where I'll post behind the scenes footage, host live streams, and so much more. All right, now back to the video. We realized after we put the telescope on that we should have done a better rough polar alignment on the mount. But instead of removing the telescope again, we decided to simply hang a safety line from the roof of the observatory. So it seems like this needs to be rotated almost exactly 10 degrees counterclockwise. Oh, it's spinning, it's moving. So what I'm thinking, we should have enough range of motion with our azimuth axis here to point them out at the spot that it's supposed to be pointed at. That should get us close enough for polar alignment at night. It's alive! I think this kind of sucks. So what we're going to do now is make a clone of this and stick it to the bottom of these floor joists here. So the idea is we'll put the electronics in these boxes that'll keep them weatherproof and then we'll just run the wires into them from over top in a little hole or something. All right, it looks like the water came from somewhere up there. Interestingly, the telescope is completely dry and in here it's wet. All right, so I found the leak in the structure right here. So what we're gonna do, I've got some caulking, we're gonna fill that in, and then I've actually got some RV tape, and so we're gonna tape that up as well. Hopefully, it doesn't leak again. Right, here's our patch. Hopefully that should hold. Got this crack here. All right, that should hold for now. And basically here we can see the status of every instrument. So we've got the telescope, the dome, the cameras, the focusers, the cloud sensors, uh, and everything we need to get this observatory running. So what we need to do now is start plugging things in. And as we plug them in, we'll make sure that they register. Hey everyone, thanks for being a member of the End of the Video Club. As you may know, watching to the end of a video really helps us out as creators, allowing this video to be shown to more people. If you'd like to get advanced notice of live streams and upcoming releases of our stargazing guidebooks, be sure to sign up for our mailing list at learntostargaze.com. Once you sign up, you'll get a note from me and a free stargazing logbook to track your progress. And as I said in the last video, I'm still new to this mailing list thing, so I'll be personally sending out the PDF logbooks, at least for the next little while. Be sure to subscribe to take your stargazing to the next level, and if you're a regular viewer, consider joining as a member. And remember, the future is looking up.